Hey everybody, welcome back out to Superstition Mountain. Milo here. Today I, I have a really good video for you about the differences between a golf swing and my other favorite game, baseball. Now I'm going to first start off by explaining what a baseball swing looks like. Because many of you all played Little League or some level of baseball and we all, a lot of us still love to watch baseball. Now when a baseball player swings a baseball bat, generally they start off with the, the bat more vertical than the plane they're going to hit the ball on. So the barrel is going to have to go from this plane to this one in some way. Now the, the thing that creates that is their, their pivoting motion of their body. So they go from a little left bend in their spine to a little right bend in their spine and their pelvis works around and out of the way and the barrel kind of tips back and works into the ball this way. Now if you notice at impact my chest is pointing parallel to the bat and my knuckles are up. Okay. Now if I use that same motion with my golf swing, so if I swing this, this club and I use the same motion and I hit it knuckles up, where is that club face going to be? Well it's pointing about over there which is generally what I see baseball players do. Their first few swings, they step in here and they hit it. That's hard to do. But they generally will hit it and that ball will shoot off to the right like that. Now, the issue they have is they don't have any control of the golf club, the club face. So, for me to be able to use my, my baseball swing to hit golf balls, what do I have to do? Well, if I swing it back here, my body pivots, the barrel or the, the bat shallows out, swings down into the ball. This would be an awesome impact position if I just got my hands in the correct place. So my chest is open, the, the bat or the barrel of the bat is parallel to my chest. That would be awesome if my hands worked correctly. So what a baseball player has to learn how to do is how to use their wrist correctly. So first thing they need to do is get their grip on a little bit more strong. So their left hand generally will need to look something like this. So that this hand can hit kind of like a baseball bat, like you do with a baseball bat. And then the right hand is going to go on in this way and it needs to stay in extension. So if I can keep my right wrist in extension, I'll get that face square. Then I'm able to use the same motions that I use in my baseball swing to hit golf ball. And you can see that was pretty good. Sit. Okay, I didn't hit it too hard. So again, golf swings and baseball swings, they're not all that different if you understand what you're looking for. It's mostly how our wrists work. The barrel of the bat can still shallow out the same way it does in a, in a baseball swing. We just can't come in knuckles up unless we gripped it like this which that wouldn't be my preference. I'd like you to learn how to hold a, a golf club like a golf club and learn to use your trail wrist correctly. Now, if you've liked this video, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. So I'd love for you to be able to see all the YouTube videos that I come out with. Also, come on over, check out MiloLinesGolf.com where I'll be able to help you one-on-one -on -one with your golf swing and your game.